going to be talking about Disney's cancellation of their Magical Express. I'm Jared and this is Beth. Hi. And this is big news. In case you haven't heard about it, I'm going to read from Walt Disney World their official statement. And they say, Vacationers have more options to choose from than ever for transportation, including rideshare services that save time and offer more flexibility to go where they want, when they want. In light of this shift, when Disney Resort Hotels bookings open for stays in 2022, we will no longer offer Disney's Magical Express service for airport transportation, starting with arrivals January 1st, 2022. So basically they're saying that because we have Uber now, that they're no longer going to offer bus transportation services between Disney World and the airport. Because Uber is just so magical. Yeah, so what's your opinion on that? Leave it in the comments. My opinion is I don't really want to do an Uber. I like taking the bus. Every time that we went... The Disney bus. The, the Disney, Disney bus. bus. Yes. <laughs> I feel that a company as large as Disney shouldn't be forcing me into independent transportation options from random people in order to get to their property. <laughs> Every time that we went to Disney so far, and we went four times in the last few years, actually, the last time we went was in October of 2019. And we really enjoyed that. It was part of the experience. That was the Disney difference. These little things that just made it convenient and nice for guests. And that's what I've always told everyone about why I enjoy going to Disney was because it's just so nice how you don't have to worry about things. They take you from the airport right to Disney World. And it's convenient, even in booking, it's convenient. So part of it's financial. Yes, it's nice that the cost is included and you get more value there with your room because you get transportation included when you buy your room. There's that value, there's that financial aspect. But a lot of it's convenience for me too because when I book, I know that I book my room and it's automatically with the room, I'm getting the transportation to Disney World. Now, they might offer their own rideshare services, but who knows how expensive those might yeah. be. But they're definitely a big enough company to justify having their own busing system to the airport. Even Universal Studio, we went there and they had a busing system. You had to pay a little extra for it. But if you're interested in taking a bus, you pay it and you appreciate the fact that they have a convenient, almost automatic way of saying, yes, I'd like a bus to Universal Studios. Historically, I don't know if things will change. Yeah, they might I, change I don't know. soon. We, we don't know the current state yeah, right now. But historically, they got much more traffic than Universal Studios. And even Universal justified having their own busing system. So it's strange to me that they're not having their own busing system. Right. Yeah. And it's, I think it's really going to end up costing them because that was one big reason why we would book at a Disney resort is because we wanted that convenience. They put your luggage right there in the room. You didn't have to worry about the travel situation you just would always rely on disney and it kept us in the parks it kept us buying their things because we like that convenience of not having to rent a car or yeah. worry about an uber or, or yeah, whatever and, and i think a yeah. lot of people are like me some people aren't some people like having their own car that they could drive around but not me and i think there's others like me that when you're on vacation, you want to be on vacation. You don't want to have to drive around a city that you're not familiar with. You want to be driven around and just relax and that's it. Right. That's In a nice atmosphere. We're not going to go amidst all of this. I, I don't think it's the same. But we well, enjoyed our there's time. There's no fireworks. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's a parade. Yeah. yeah to me, all the things. things I really enjoyed aren't there right now. Yeah, but we really enjoyed it then, and I'm wishing that we would have got on Flight of Passage just one more time. We had the opportunity, but I was tired, and I was like, we do did. we really want, we had the opportunity 
They're like, do we want to ride Flight of Passage one more time, get in that line? And we're like, ah, I should have, because I don't know if, if we're going to be able to get back there. Them getting rid of the Magical Express, though, I don't know how we're going to get there. That's but right. the other option that we didn't talk about is the bullet train. Now, but this was not mentioned in the announcement as being part of the reason. But we would be remiss if we weren't to mention the bullet train as being another transportation option. The issue with this is this bullet train isn't there yet and probably isn't going to be there and available for Disney passengers by January 1st, 2022. It could potentially be a good way of transportation getting to Disney if they did it right. If they did it right. But there's definitely a few things, a few question marks, a lot of luggage going on these buses that went from the Disney Spring area to the resorts. Oh. The bullet train is fast, so theoretically, if they did it right, it could be a good thing. I mean, that's yet to be seen because the bullet train isn't here yet. The bullet train isn't magical anyway. No, <laughs> it's the people that worked for Disney. The, the, it was the cast members. They are what made the Disney experience. They really are. Like, they were always so friendly. Even when you had, you know, people in the park maybe not very friendly with you, the cast members were always so friendly and made the atmosphere. Disney just keeps cutting more corners and it's not going to be Disney anymore. Yeah. It's really not. I understand even now it'd be different if temporarily they just said, well, we're not having the Disney's Magical Express. Because obviously social distancing in a bus, I'm sure it's not easy at all. But if we ever get beyond the whole social distancing thing, now they're just saying, oh, well, they're not going to have the Disney Magical Express. And that's what's really concerning. Me. Yeah, if, yeah. If it was just a temporary thing because of social distancing and whatever, that would be one thing. But this permanently canceling Disney's Magical Express just because... Not good. Not good. Not, not good. good. That seems like a service that should be provided to the guests because that's what sets Disney apart. Yeah, what do you think about this? What's it going to be like to go to Disney now? Are we still going to be able to do it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't... just want to see Nintendo World now, I think, <laughs> or Nintendo Land, whatever it's called. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment, or if you'd be interested in more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.